Hello! Today we're going to demonstrate the Secure Plus integration for Microsoft Dynamics RMS. It does credit, debit, gift, tips, and tokenizes all the transactions, so there's no cardholder data present. Alright, let's do a sale. We'll pick an item for $100, tender that out to a credit card. It's prompting me now, is the amount okay? Which is exactly what it says on the iPad, iPad device. Ask the customer to press yes or no to confirm the amount, which I'll do. I'll select credit, which is what it's prompting me as a consumer to do. Swipe the card, that's what it shows on the screen, and the iPad. Process as a transaction. Comes back, prompts me for a signature. Tells the cashier to ask him to sign and hit the green button. Shows us a signature that they put on the iPad and it's a, a successful sale. Now if we go into the electronic journal, we can see the receipt for the transaction, how it's tendered, and how we captured the signature in digital format. So now if I want to do a return, we can do dependent returns. I'll pick a transaction for return from today. I'll use this $100 transaction we just did. It's prompting me why we're doing a return. I'll say I just didn't like it. It knows that I paid with a credit card, so I'll just select that. It also knows what the credit card was. So at this point, I don't have to swipe the card. All I have to do is choose the tender that I want to return it to and process the return. Now it's successful, and we're finished. Next type of transaction, we can buy a train. pay for it with a debit card. Prompts me to enter the PIN, which I'll do. And it's successful. So we've got the ability to do tips now. If I want to do a tip on a transaction that was performed before, transaction 501, last for the card that we used originally and the amount I want to tip. $2.30 and I process. It'll go at, out, get an addition or change to the transaction and the tip's successful. Now when the amount settles, it'll settle for the original amount plus the tip as one transaction. Alright, we've got the ability certainly to sell and redeem gift cards in the solution. So in this case I'll pick an open value card and I'll put $75 on it. I'll pay for that in cash. Now it wants me to activate the card. So I come in here and activate the card. It prompts me on the iPad for the amount. Yes, $75. Swipe the card I'm activating. Activates the gift card. Succeeded. So now we have a gift card we can use to redeem for purchases. Let's say I want to do exactly that. I'm going to buy a $100 train. I'm going to put uh, 22. Well, I guess I need more than that. I need. Let's put uh, 35 in cash. And then we'll put the rest on the gift card. So it's prompting me to charge the gift for $65. I'll say OK. Swipe the card. And there we go. So now, let's check the balance on that card. Swipe the card. Goes out, gets the balance. Shows me I have $10 left. If I want to go ahead and just cash that $10 out, we can do that. Swipe the card. Checks the balance. Makes a cash out amount for $10, which I tender to cash. We'll go ahead and finish the transaction on the card. And now it's succeeded.
the full life cycle of an Open Balance gift card. We can do multi-tender transactions and returns. So let's go ahead and get in one of these uh, CQD Mark Aluminum knives. I want to put some of that on this credit card. And then some on my Amex. So it prompts me for the first amount, for the first card. I say yes to the $100. It's a credit card. I swipe that. Gets an authorization. Prompts for the signature. It's as easy as one, two, three. Now it's coming back around for the second tender. In this case, a credit card and American Express. Swipe the card. Processes that amount. Gets the signature. And we've done a successful sale. Now if we look into the journal, we'll notice both of the signatures are on there. So the signature for the first card and the second are present. Now if I want to do a return against this, I can actually choose which tender I want to return it to in a dependent fashion. So it knows both of these. And let's say maybe it was blemished. So I really only just want to do a return. Let's see, I need to redo that. I can do a partial amount return as well. Say for some reason we want to give them $10 off. I know it was tendered to one of these credit cards. And I can post it right to that card. without having to have the customer swipe again. So I can do that when they're present or when they're not present.